Hi, I'm Nick Mann, and this is a video where I'm going to walk you through my invention, this map board, which I have called the multi-board. This is the geology-oriented half-size version. Uh, what makes it geology-oriented is this emergency protractor. Um, the emergency protractor also comes with a length of paracord. It also has a cord here and an elastic strap here uh, to hold a notebook, specifically a non-standard size notebook. Um, so let's get to it. The board closes with an elastic strap with hook and loop on it. You can hold a pencil here if you want to. Nice and convenient. Then on the inside here, of course, there's the emergency protractor on this left panel. Walk you through how that works. So you have your map here. You can use any straight edge for this um, by design. Just a folded, pieces of folded piece of paper would work, but I use paracord because it's convenient. So we have zero at the top. Uh, 90 at the at a right angle um, because zero is north then we have the angles all marked around the edge here you only have one digit you multiply by 10 so 10 degrees 20 degrees 30 degrees 40 degrees etc um, we have then it also hooks down here so you can do the opposite side now, this is designed to be better than no protractor. It's not designed to be better than a protractor. Uh, but I lost a couple of protractors in the field trying to mark up maps, so that's why I invented this. It also is a convenient way to hold down the map on the board. Um, all four corners are covered here, and there's a tab here that provides tension to keep the paper in place. Um, so, you know, you have... You're trying to measure 50 degrees west of north. Um, here's your 50 degrees. But let's say you want to actually get your angle up here. You could eyeball it. That's probably good enough. But in case you want it more precise, you can slide the map down until this over overlies what, where you want your angle. Um, for, the, for the very shallow angles close to north, you will just need to eyeball it again. Better than no protractor. Um, that's that. You can also take this and put it on this side if you want. When it's on this side, then you stick your map in there. You normally probably take the elastic strap out for this, which you can do, and I'll show you, but it's fine now. So now it's simply a map board. Um, fairly simple. The binding can be tightened up. It's one of the features of this. And it gives you just, it's sleek, narrow, holds your map, gives you a hard surface to write on. There you go. But if you, you can of course also use it only as a single panel here. Uh, you still have your two shoulder cable straps. This is this is my way. Sorry. Um, so now it's a single board. This would be good if you're you know working in good weather, um, or you're not worried about scratching it up, or you just don't want something in your way. Nice hard surface to mark up your map. So you put this back together. And we take this out and we put it back on this side. Oh, while we're here, if you, you'll notice there are two notches here. That's so you can put a map or any other piece of paper on the front here and hold it in place with standard binder clips. Um, you don't have the emergency protractor feature there, but you know, it's there, it's held there. It's easy to see, it's easy to work with. Some people just hate binder clips with a passion, and that's why I invented all the other ways to hold paper to this. So, put your emergency protractor back on this side. And you can put your notebook in on this side. It's pretty straightforward. 
This elastic strap comes in and out just by, I'll, take the, I'll show you that in a moment. So you have it here. If you want to hold your mat board open, you can do that by just wrapping this around and rotating this around to the back. Um, kind of interferes with the mat, but this, but if you're working in an area where you're taking a lot of notes, you know, in a fairly small area and you have good weather, then being able to actually just hold this open and swap back and forth might be desirable. Um, and close this back that way. Um, so if we take the, the notebook out, this elastic strap comes in and out. There's just a little plastic bit here that it attaches to. You tight, you pull on it, and then it's a little tricky because I don't want it to come out accidentally, but it just slides through. And the opposite side does that as well. And now, let's see, what else? Well, rulers on the back, uh, inches at the bottom, centimeters at the top. Um, if you, these cables are, or not cables, but loops are to hold a shoulder strap. Um, you can route cable through there. There are two of them so that the weight is evenly distributed on both sides. You, of course, have your binding, which you can stick things such as plastic bags for collecting samples. Um, just finish getting those in there. There we go. That should be good. We have an acid bottle here. Put a spare pencil in there. Um, and your emergency cord for the protractor will also fit right in there. This makes the binding kind of wide and it doesn't close quite as nicely with all the stuff in there. But it does close and it's fine. Um, if you want it to close nicely, you just can't carry as much stuff in there. It still closes. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that I hope to have coming for it. Um, I'll go ahead and remove this. So you take your emergency protractor off. Both panels, you'll notice, have these two pieces at, of uh, hook and loop or loop side fastener, um, as it's you know generically called, along the corners. So you can put a lot of different stuff there. For example, here's a little envelope um, plastic available inexpensively at office supply stores, and now you have a little you know pocket there to hold your stuff. And in this case. You can put your map on the front with the binder clips. You've seen how that works. Um, and this, you know, it has whole pieces of paper in there, this protractor there. Pick that out. Um, I also am working on an insert to hold a normal size notebook, just like this, held on with, uh, you know, hook and loop. This, get that out of the way. So there's your notebook. This has a, there's a panel, plastic panel there. Um, and then you can also turn this into a trifold. You'll see there's, um, there's the loop there. So we take a third panel and it has its own separate binding, like that. You put that on there, you put that on there, and now it's a trifold. So you can, for example, just put your, oops, put that there. And you'll notice on this trifold that it has these little corner pieces. Those corner pieces are to hold pieces of paper in as such. Here I only have two of them, but you can put them on all four corners. You just don't want them in the corner that you're using to write because it's nice to be able to do that. So this could hold 
an assignment or um, notes or whatever. They can be completely independent of the trackable panel. Just for example, put one there, put one there, and now you can take a standard half size piece of paper and it's there. The You'll notice the holes here, those holes align with, uh, I think this is seven hole paper. Uh, this is right in the rain, uh, waterproof loose leaf paper. Both these holes align, so just by running a cord um, around, you can bind any, you can bind either of those papers in. Um, and I didn't include the trifold option. Um, Mostly because during the field work I've done, the trifold bit seemed to just get in the way and I didn't want it there. Um, the trifold is much more useful if you're taking this to meetings or to class where you actually need to be holding paper. Um, it, since it's highly modular and it's own separate accessory, it, I hope to offer it as an accessory at some point, um, hopefully in the not too distant future. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, thank you.